Hello and welcome back to a new video about controls. This time we are still talking about PLCs. Last time we talked about how a PLC in principle is working. Yeah? Now we want to have a look in the software, how the software is processed. Okay. Let's say we have a PLC, yeah? we have a PLC and we plug it in. What is happening? First thing which is happening is some initializing. So there is initializing, initialize. There the PLC checks if it finds the memory, if it's, I don't know, if all power supplies are connected, if all the cards are there it would expect, if input and output elements and so on. So it simply makes some sort of self-test. Okay. The battery is charged, something like this. They need some initializing. Yeah. Then, if this initializing is done, yeah, we go over to the cycle, to the program cycle. The first thing which is done is that the inputs, the current inputs, are there's a snapshot taken. Yeah. input snapshot. This is necessary, we talked last time about it, this is necessary because we want to have a, a consistent behavior. If I access one and the same input during program execution, this is now the time, this is time access. So then we take an input snapshot because now what follows next is the logic execution. Yeah? So there is the program now running. That's actually the software which is now checking inputs yeah, and doing its stuff, doing the logic I've programmed. And then all the stuff is written into the output snapshot and now we make the output copy yeah, and copy whatever decided the program the program decided to should appear on the output copy to the real output now the values appear at the output yeah. and after this is done we start over That's a program cycle. Okay? That's very usual. Yeah? And what I wanted to say, if I have to access an input yeah, at this point in time, and at this point in time I access the same input, I would expect that the same value comes. Yeah? However, the outside world does not know about our internal cycle. The input changes some, simply somewhat. Yeah? Whenever. Yeah? can change here, 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 and it might lead to the fact that if I want, if I check the input two times, that I have inconsistency during one program cycle. So I really have to take this snapshot, this picture, yeah, the reality, and work with this. Also, the output is pretty much the same. So, if a program now is running as often as possible, every time it's finished, it's starting over. Every time it's finished, it's starting over. Yeah? This is a free cycle. So there's the possibility of a free cycle. Then it just depends on the length of the code it takes to execute when it's executed the next time. Okay? However, there are also the possibilities then of fixed cycle. In a fixed cycle program, the program will start to be executed after xx milliseconds. I can adjust this usually. Or I have to select there are different fixed cycles 
One is starting every 10 milliseconds, one is starting every 20 milliseconds, one is starting every 100 milliseconds and so on. I use a fixed cycle. Then I'm sure this program is executed all whatever milliseconds. Okay. This is nice for having timers, something like this. Then it just needs to count down one by one and I know I'm, I count in portions. Okay. Uh, however, I get an issue if the program execution takes longer than I adjust at the fixed cycle. Okay. If I adjust 5 milliseconds and the program takes 7, 7 milliseconds, it would already start when it has not even been finished. Yeah. Modern PLC is usually strong enough to have several logics, several cycles in parallel. Yeah, it's working here a little, working there a little, working there a little and so on. Yeah. They are usually also then uh, prioritized. Yeah. What is the more prioritized is getting more. This is simply working like a multitasking operating system, something like this. Yeah. So if this happens once, it's usually no issue. If this happens all the time and the program execution simply takes longer than the adjusted fixed cycle, then I get into trouble. Yeah? And then the PLC will stop, yeah? will go to a fault state or will stop program execution. This is usually not the intended behavior. So this is really something you have to look into. Yeah? Especially if there is communication involved with another system. Communication usually takes a little bit time and communication is not always happening. Yeah? And then sometimes it's working fine and suddenly some communications are piling up and they're happening at the same time and suddenly they have an issue. Yeah? These are nasty things to, to, to find. Yeah? However, fixed cycle. Yeah? Usually you also get a warning. Because there are also interrupt cycles, interrupt, yeah? if something happens, yeah? like say, if for instance the execution takes too long, yeah? or if the battery is low, or if an input card suddenly fails, something like this, yeah? there are usually error blocks, yeah? which are automatically called by the PLC due to itself. Uh, Check, yeah? continuous self-check, yeah? self-evaluation, and this is then interrupting the program. Yeah? Also communication might be do something. Yeah? Oh, there's a new communication, I read, put it in the buffer, and then, yeah? so this is why the free cycle is not always the same time, but can vary. Yeah? So. This is the basic program cycle of a PLC. This is how it, I mean, it's pretty much the same thing like in the Arduino world. Yeah? We have talked about this Arduino world. Yeah, it's always the same. This is the setup, this is the loop yeah, working. Yeah? However, in modern PLCs, like I said, they have enough power that there are several tasks in parallel, yeah? several program running in parallel. Yeah, this might be necessary. Yeah? And there are also different initializing steps. Yeah? So there's one initializing if it's powered up, if it's really plugged in. Then there is another initializing if it's just change, changing the state from stop to run. Yeah? Might need to be done other things. Yeah? So it's a little bit more complex, but basically our Arduino is something like a PLC. Input, output, and in between there is the, the logic. Yeah, so basic program cycle of a PLC. Next time we're going to talk about uh, what different program languages there are. They are standardized. Oh, something standardized. I can tell you it sounds better than it is. Yeah. However, we will see there are four languages which are four, five, four, five, no, four. 
I will see. We can't. <laughs> Next time we're talking about languages programming the PLC. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.